Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm going to be creating a layout, and I'm going to be using these stickers from American Crafts and other chipboard letters. I don't know about anybody else, but do you remember when thickers and the chipboard letters were like all the rave way back then? Well, I had a major addiction to them, and I literally have hundreds of packets of these thicker letters but I just don't seem to use them much anymore so today I'm going to try to use some of them up and I'm also going to be using some paper that I've been hoarding forever from Basic Gray it's called the Lemonade I have this whole packet here it's called the Lemon Lemonade from Basic Gray so I'm going to try to use up some of that and then I also have this one sheet that I thought would be going good with the letters. And this was out of a paper pad that I got from DCWV Safari Kid Stack. So I'm going to try to use that too. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really sure exactly what my plan is yet, but we'll go with it and see what happens. Alright, I just had one of those. I thought my camera was running, but it wasn't moments. So what I did, I used some stays on ink in Dove Gray, and I stamped with some a grid stamp and also oh, a number stamp that I don't know who made these or where they came from. I've just had them for so long that I'm using them today. And then I just took some of the letters and I randomly started placing them onto the background and now I'm gonna take some soft matte gel because a lot of these stickers or the letters no longer even though they had the self-adhesive on the background they just don't stick anymore so using the Art Basics soft matte gel I am going to go through and adhere those down Now that my letters are all adhered down, I am going to, behind the picture, I'm going to use some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Tutti Fruity. And then I'm also going to be using some Plain Jane Tattered Angels. This is Baseboard in Baby Girl Pink. So get those nice and mixed up. I spray it with some water first. 